We focus on producing functional films that are have nano patterns on them that cause light, radio waves, electromagnetic waves, and other forms of energy to behave differently than they do in nature. So if you've heard of the cloak of invisibility in Harry Potter, mm -hmm. we can replicate that. No way. Yes. <laughs> Tell me more. That we are now a very different company than we were a year ago. When I joined in December, the market value of Meta was $30 million Canadian. Today, it's $1.6 billion right. US. That's a very different world, a very different, different world. kind of company to run. So we're very excited about the new people and we're not done. And applying these patterns to these functional films and then working with our customers to identify applications that are important to them. Um, and so one could look at this as being driven by a number of megatrends in the, in the industry. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with 5G telephones, except if you have one now, it's probably 4G, right. even though they say it's 5G. That application alone is probably worth three to five billion dollars a year. Wow. Um, we're working with a very large chemical company in Japan called Sekisui. They approached us about a year ago and they said, we want to work with you. We have a very large telecom company in Japan as our customer. And the way they describe it is they basically want to enshroud the whole country of Japan in our film so that wow. all, everywhere 5G is broadcast, it right. can get, get through and into the buildings. We had a, the world's largest producer of microwaves come to us about a year ago and say, we want you guys to make us a completely transparent door that still keeps the EMI inside the microwave. And we said, okay, fine. So we built this film, different pattern. In this case, the pattern's on the inside and it reflects the signal back into the microwave. And not only did we make the door completely transparent, but we also doubled the retention of EMI inside the microwave. Wow. And this company that we're working with makes 40 million microwaves a year. Incredible. So very much an emerging growth company where our story is, is changing almost every hour. Um, we're not done doing what we're doing. We, we, we intend to grow into our market cap. Our revenues don't match our market cap today. They do. But they, but they will. And we're going to do that both organically and acquisitively. Right. We have an assembled group of people in our company that is really unrivaled. We have some really, really smart scientists, a lot of very good manufacturing people, especially with the NTS acquisition. Right. We, we, as of now, we have 120 people in the company. Hopefully all you guys had already seen that, bringing some key highlights to maybe some new investors, hopefully. That's kind of the key. I mean, can't really tell you how long as much as is right now. We kind of know proof is in the pudding. We need to get more interested buyers as is. And another thing, our downturns mainly come with market walkiness. If we want to talk about that real quick, biggest catalyst to get uncertainty out of the market would be if Biden came out and announced Jay Powell as Fed chair today. Uh, Renomination, that would be the best way. Not saying Jay Powell is necessarily done a superb job or the best job uh, but we know what he has to offer and that would kind of subside some fears in the market so uh, we'll have to see how that shakes out we could also get financials any point today maybe in the after hours that's when last ones were released in August was on a Friday during the after hours if it does come to fruition I'll be releasing that as they come out hopefully not be too slow on that uh, and then of course come out with the nightly recap after this after I'm done talking here at the further part of this video will be us talking about how we can help with those ways basically look to get all the hype out of there in the first five minutes uh, and then we will go ahead and show them the ways we can be capable of those things so microwaves windows it doesn't matter what it is plenty of verticals and didn't even mention uh, AR VR we'll probably clip out Jonathan kind of similar to this one he had some pretty good things to say throughout that conference at the all so uh, pretty exciting stuff we know the ways it to give you all some short-term levels to look at if we downtrend basically staying right at that 50% 50, 50 line from that Fibonacci retracement right at our 476 line in the pre-market right now uh 4 a.m central time is when i'm making this video so uh if we downtrended 
got under 470, 465, and then 453 is your next two strongest levels. And then we know on that Fibonacci, it's about 428. So look for the 428, 430s if things got super wonky for days on end. Uh, but basically today, I would look for a catch at 465 if we got under 470s. If we start to uptrend, the key level to break over will be about this 488 line. And then if we could break and hold that as well as 496, uh, then we should close in the $5 or possibly $4.99 since the hedgies hate me trying to call $5 on a Friday. So uh, we'll see how Friday checks out. I'll say the last clip, trying to remember what all I have to say. So uh, the last clip that it has is talking about the dividend. They haven't really spoke on the dividend nothing really new we know the plan is to get it out by the end of the year anything could happen with that but they want to become a fully green company so they're doing all they can to get it sold for a uh, dividend or would we'll just spin it off and be new oil coal oil coal holders so uh, we'll see how all that shakes out pretty exciting we know some drilling and compliance has been done so uh, if you've already seen the sequel event no need to rewatch it but hopefully this will bring us in some new eyes and viewsmanship or <laughs> not really viewsmanship uh, but more buyers is what we're looking for so uh, all will be good we know proof is in the pudding if a red day comes about you should you should honestly just be saying thank you now i can buy some more of my most conviction plays so uh, i appreciate all y'all like i said if financials come out we'll come out with that on the twitters and then as well with the nightly recap uh, or as needed and then if basically it's pretty much snooze fest of a friday then i will most likely see y'all on uh sunday so uh, as always appreciate y'all and i will see y'all later well so what our technology does in that indication is we can take a fully transparent piece of film it looks just like clear plastic but it's very flexible mm -hmm. that film has a pattern on it that will see the 5g signal and reflect it down so it can when it hits the building it gets reflected down to the street and you walking on the street can pick up the signal on your cell phone or if it hits a window and you want it to actually come into the space, our film can also, with a different pattern, act like a booster antenna and allow the signal to get through. And it's all passive and completely transparent. So it doesn't affect the, the look and feel of the building. Well, that application alone is probably worth three to five billion dollars a year. Um, we're working with a very large chemical company in Japan called Sekisui. They approached us about a year ago. This is public information. Right. And with you, we have a very large telecom company in Japan as our customer. And the way they describe it is they basically want to enshroud the whole country of Japan in our film. So that wow. all, everywhere 5G is broadcast, right. it can get, get through and into the buildings. What's also important however, is if you look at your cell phone today, the screen on your cell phone is conductive. It picks up your fingers, it does. It's also made out of something called indium tin oxide as a coating. ITO is a rare earth metal. It's scarce, mm -hmm. it's extremely expensive, you can only source it in Asia, um, and it's brittle. So one of the reasons Samsung's first foldable phone didn't work was because of the ITO. Right. It, you folded it enough, it broke. Huh. And our, our material is, doesn't use any rare earth metals. It uses copper or aluminum or silver right. or those kinds of things. Um, th they're done on plastics that are very, very, very malleable. We use about a tenth of the thickness of what's required for ITO today. And so the technology all came from, what I want to think about, it, it's all physics. And we have a lot of really smart engineers in our company that understand the physics of light and radio waves and electromagnetic waves. And what made me join the company a year, I joined in December, mm -hmm. was that we're also working in the medical field. Well, okay, and tell us more. We have um, a couple areas that we work in. We work in imaging, we work in wireless sensing. Um, in, um, I was very excited by what we were doing in the imaging space because we have, using our films, we can cause a magnetic resonance image machine, MRI, to work at up to 40 times better performance than what you can see today with the technology. 
and we do that by applying our film to a special device that you just if you're a patient you put this device under your back and it modulates the frequency so that you get 40x up to 40x the improvement in signal and you don't need to use a bigger magnet you don't need to spend a lot of time in the machine so we can take a scan that would today require an hour an hour and a half and do it in 10 or 15 minutes with resolution that's never been seen before incredible it's and just groundbreaking really amazing. we worked in breast cancer in fact the company was founded by our ceo um, to do non-ionizing radiation breast cancer screening it uses microwaves to look at tissue and what it does is it allows us to um, enable women that are you know in their 20s to get scanned very quickly easily safely right. establish a baseline accurately and, and accurately and track it over time right. um, with no ionizing radiation and and again it's one of these tools that um, if we see something in our scan that looks questionable then we can say go get a confirming scan but you're only going to do that when you need to right as opposed to using it as a prophylactic um, we also have the capability using that same technology to differentially diagnose strokes so if somebody has an ischemic stroke that can be treated if it's discovered quickly enough with a drug called tpa but if you give a hemorrhagic stroke victim TPA, you can hurt them very badly. And so we have technology that we're developing that can be used in the ambulance to maximize this magic three hour window that TPA has um, for, to get on board with stroke. So then the other thing we do, which is really, really exciting is um, we have technology in development now for completely non-invasive glucose monitoring. So we can monitor in type 2 diabetics, type 1 diabetics, and pre-diabetic people with no needles. So if we look at what's out there today, there's products from Abbott like Freestyle Libra and um, Dexcom. They are minimally invasive, but they still have needles. Right. Ours are needleless. It's a, it takes advantage of the fact that our, we apply our metafilm to the device and it makes the skin invisible. To the device doesn't hurt us but it makes it modulates again modulates the frequency and allows both infrared light and radio waves to get directly through the skin into the interstitial fluid in the body and find the glucose and so we negotiated with them a reverse merger that did two things um, this is in our disclosures but what we did was we negotiated a transaction that resulted in the metamaterial shareholders owning about 75% of the combined company post-merger and the, the Torchlight shareholders owning 25% plus one other thing, which was the rights to receive whatever proceeds there were from the oil and gas assets that were still on their books at the time we closed. Those assets um, are still there. The plan is to either sell them or spin them out by the end of this year, at which point Meta will be completely focused on our main mission, which is the manufacture and distribution of Meta materials using sustainable materials and will be a green company as a result. We have Muted. So, so, like I said, sorry uh, if you've already watched that, but looking to get more eyes on the many materials, show them what we got to offer as long we already have it. Uh, and you should always be doing your own DD as is. So, I uh, appreciate all you guys, and I will see y'all later today if financials come out, or if not, we'll, we'll see y'all Sunday.